a while ago, I saw a video by Mark Rober where he made a tub of fluidized sand. In this video, he pumps air under the sand using this rather complicated device. I'm not an engineer, so there's no way I can remake it. However, I do know some simple chemistry that can help me accomplish the same task. To do that, we only need two things: baking soda and a stove. First, I open the box of baking soda and pour the contents into a large pot. I then placed it on a stove and started heating it. At first, nothing seems to be happening. The baking soda still behaves like solid and clump up together. However, as I continue heating it, some gas bubbles evolve within the powder, and the motion of the powder becomes more fluid-like. This is because as we raise the temperature within the pot, more and more baking soda. A.K.A. sodium hydrogen carbonate starts to undergo thermal decomposition. The reaction yields sodium carbonate, water, and carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide gas produced mimics the effects of pumping air into the sand, where it provides a force on the sand to counteract their weight, allowing them to hover in equilibrium. Obviously, this version of fluidized sand is nowhere near as good as the one demonstrated in Mark's video. But considering the accessibility and price of baking soda and the simplicity of the experiment, I would say it's worth trying, under the supervision of adults. That is, if you enjoyed this video, perhaps consider subscribing, so that you can see more of these contents.